Hello and a warm welcome. Today we have Mr. Suhail Kai. He's the Executive Vice President and Chief Technology Officer at Max Life Insurance. Thank you, Suhail, for speaking to us. Thank you, Pranjit, for inviting me over. What is the digital strategy you're pursuing at Max Life Insurance right now and how it is, you know, driving transformation? So at Max Life, our digital strategy is based on three cohorts, which is the customer, the seller, and the employee. For our customers, we're leveraging technology to drive a much superior customer experience through friction-free journeys, uh, instant gratification, and giving them an omni-channel experience. We're also looking at how can we provide a hyper-personalization experience to our customers. For sellers, we are helping them with intelligence mm -hmm. for help to sell better and helping them create better experience for the customers during the customer onboarding as well as the customer servicing and also helping sellers sell more efficiently. Okay. Uh, for employees, uh, we are enabling more self-service, mm -hmm. uh, engaging them more. Okay. At the same point of time, helping them develop uh, use leveraging technology. Uh, we've been on a multi-year transformation journey mm -hmm. to modernize our systems uh, from very monolithic uh, uh, legacy systems to truly modern cloud native uh, and scalable and agile systems. We are building a, f a platform for customer onboarding and also policy issuance, which can provide a much superior customer experience to our customers and our sellers. Could you give us some name, like what kind of technology initiatives you are uh, I mean, uh, taking care right now at the Max Life? So at this moment, uh, as I told you, uh, we, we have currently built a state-of-the-art customer onboarding system, okay. which has helped us drastically reduce a policy issuance time mm -hmm. from 30, 40 odd minutes okay. to less than 10 minutes. Now we are extending this platform to also our entire policy issuance, which can help us do right risk selection and also issue policies much faster to our customers. We are also uh, leveraging our systems to modernize some of our core IT, core uh, like insurance systems to again support agility and scalability. We Example need a lot of technologies, uh, I think route from uh, using AWS cloud for all hosting all our, all our uh, modern applications to using a lot of cloud native technologies uh, and uh, uh, cloud native technologies like, like Java to using uh, AI and ML tools and also uh, creating uh, creating using uh, creating data lakes using the entire uh, cloud framework we are uh, today leveraging rpa in certain pockets especially in very very human intensive uh, transactions we are leveraging rpa in our in our uh, transaction processing in our finance and we're also looking at certain uh, certain areas opportunity in our back-end operations. Since a lot of technology already in place and you know a lot of threat factor is also coming in picture so how are you handling that challenge cybersecurity uh, challenge at the moment? We are living in a very hyper connected world uh, where gone are the days where all uh, applications used to sit on, sit on premise in an island and today we are virtually connected with all our partners with ecosystem, the fintech ecosystem, as well as a lot of our assets lie on the cloud. I think what makes it even more challenging is that we handle some very sensitive data of our customers. And this puts a big onus on us on hold data protection. And we are investing uh, on the various, so we're investing on cloud security, we on network security, and also endpoint security to make sure that our systems are truly robust, scalable, and our data of a customer is protected. So over the years, you must have heard a lot of time this question about CIO and CISO's relationship. Uh, how do you think it's planning out now? How do you, how is the role of a CIO is coming out right now? Uh, I think uh, CIOs and CISOs yeah. have to work very very closely. In our in at Max Life, our, our CISO organization, while it sits in in the overall risk organization but it works very, very closely with the technology team. The, today, the CISO team is present in all our important decisions on technology. Uh, we sit together, have a strategy, yeah. uh, which on a multi-year strategy, how we can make sure where we are developing, uh, we can move to more called death secure, uh, death secure ops. Mm -hmm. At the same point of time, in, ensure that security is inbuilt into all our architectural infrastructure and application decisions. What is your strategy? What is your IT strategy for coming years? Like if I'll say one or two years only, uh, what's your immediate strategies? I think our strategy is uh, threefold. One is to continue to invest in our systems of differentiation. We started a journey of building our own systems, which touched our customers' lives. And, and we are trying to modernize first our customer onboarding, 
now we're working with policy issuance okay. and then finally at the end to end till the claim process so secondly we would be looking at opportunities to go create data marts like data lake mm -hmm. which which can house all the data in various touch points with our customers helping us make more put more intelligence on top of it using ai ml tools okay. and therefore helping our customers take better decisions mm -hmm. and helping us sellers pitch the right product to our customers thank you so much sohel for talking to us thank you so much for being on the show thank you rish it's a pleasure thank you.